to uh, Webster in Massachusetts. A little crowd here, that's great. This is the uh, final four of our March. Uh, this started 7th and 14th with uh, a couple of groups of uh, out and try and compete and win a prize. So we had 93 bowlers standing in uh, the and that we had 93 bowlers that competed. Out of those bowls, we brought 16 people here today, uh, first to bowl in the Sweet 16. And they're down to the final four. So this is pretty exciting. So if you guys haven't met Suzanne's my is going around here, right? All right. I do want to announce our final four participants, and I'm going to ask them as we announce them. Now I'm going to hand it back over to Paul to finish this off and get us uh, get us going. All right, number four seed, uh, bowling on lane 19 is Jamie. Come on up, Jamie. All right, nice job. You want to be over here? All right, sir. All right uh, the number three seed, uh, John. Welcome, come on up, John. is Paul Badukowitz. Come on up, Paul. Congratulations, Paul. All right, the number one uh, is Harry Rose. Come on up, Harry. All right. Listen, uh, I want to wish everyone a great luck. Also wearing jackets for qualifying in the final four. And it's on to bigger and better things. We got $1,000 in the prize pool for the uh time. Good luck out there bowling. Harry Rose bowls out of the uh, out of the uh, situate, the situate bowl. Owned by Doug Smith. It's a 10 lane house. First ball on lane 19 comes from Jamie Byrne. Jamie Bulls out of the South Shore Country Club at Hingham. He is a 103 average. He bowls on Wednesday nights there. He's got, he's got a sleeper back there. He gets the, picks up the, and remarkable black backflip. Harry is struck. So that'll be a 10, 10 for Jamie. But bowling from one string here. There were 93 bowlers at the start of this tournament, beginning of March. You heard uh, from John. That's three in the bonus for Harry Rose. Who's giving six pins. Harry's giving six pins to Jamie, and later when you see Paul and John, Paul will be giving seven pins to John Nichols. Paul's gonna, gonna complete five at a time. So basically today's gonna come in two halves. Harry marks a nine, he's got 22 through two. And Jamie, remember, who's getting six. Now has 16, so it is a tie match. From here on, that's a nine, sorry, that is a nine, so it's a three pin, three pin lead now for Jamie due to the handicap. Eight drop off head pin for Rose. Rose qualified with a score of 391 on uh, March 7th. Jamie, 98, as Harry completes the mark. And Jamie's coming in the third. And with that two pin drop, the handicap has been erased, but for one, and now, Harry Rose is taking a five pin lead. He's looking, playing for, playing for a chance in the $1,000 finals pool. 
Jamie's on the head. But he leaves the five, seven, ten. What bloody minded thing. Perry with the two and two pokes out on the ninth. All right, 46 through four for Harry. And with that nine, 37. So it's a three pin lead for Rose of Situate. Ball in the fifth box. Straight through. Spread Eagle, no wood. There's another head pin for Jamie. Again, leaves the the four five seven. Tough luck there for Jamie. Plays the wood, spreads it, but they can't can't get the backside of the five. And Harry, nice nice spread eagle. Jamie trying to pick up one. There he does. All right, that's a 47 half for Jamie Byrne of Weymouth. And he, he is down by one to Harry, who had a 55, but he's getting six pins. So it's a one pin lead for Harry. Now setting up on lane 21, Jonathan Nichols of Taunton, um, native resident of Whitman. He was uh, with a 437 during the, roll, during the bowl off. And he's... Nicely today, came, had, a, had a good comeback in the, uh, in, the, in the Sweet 16 qualifier earlier today. He, was, he had uh, three splits and a, and a half Worcester that uh, put him in a big deficit. Going for the horseman, he gets them to carry all the way back to the 10 pin. Spare for Nichols, who is giving seven pins to Paul Padukowicz. Paul Padukowicz on the, on the left hand lane. Uh, He's age 62. He was our second qualifier during the uh, March qualifiers. He carries he carries a uh, 98 average, with, and um, he qualified with a 4.20. Paul uh, retired uh, some four years back and took up candlepin bowling. So I mean, he, he actually has uh, Parkinson's disease, and he he does does get stiff stiffer as the years go on in his arms and legs. He says it's a great challenge for him. Nichols fills with five over on lane 21 on his, on his spare in the first. Oh, he can, Madukowicz matches Nichols' spare with a, uh, he's a little bit of left wall action there at the eagle wing. And Nichols posts an eight. So he's got 23 through two. Padukowicz with 17 plus this bonus ball. Final four action here. Five in the field for Padukowicz. So there's basically one of one of the seven handicap pins has been erased through two. Padukowicz therefore leads by six. Third box misses the misses the uh, kingpin, and Badukowitz posts a six, so he's at twenty-eight through three, and Nichols will lands a nine. He's at thirty-two, so three pins the difference here. First ball of the fourth box, one string to advance to the $1,000 finals. Nichols, little thin on the head pin. Leaves five, seven with wood. Budukowicz is just up on the Kaliri. Oh, Nichols blasted the corner, but the seven pin is unmolested. Both bowlers open. That's an eight for Paul, and it'll be a nine for John. So one more pin there. It's, a, it's now two pins net. 
as they start their first ball, the fifth box. We're at Timber Lanes. If you just join us, Final Four action in the uh, March Madness tournament that's been going on all month here. Nichols is right in the 1 3 pocket, as is Badukowicz, but Nichols leaves a 1 2 1 spread. Looks like the uh, 7 and then the 5 8 in the middle and the 10 in the corner. And Badukowicz uses the plays the wood and covers for the spirit. He'll sit down now with a 46 plus a ball. And John Nichols cleans out the middle for a uh, 49. All right, so that, that match is, will depend on, uh, on Paul, on Paul Badukowicz's next shot. Okay, this is the second half now. There's a one string action. Harry Rose with, an, with a uh, two pin net lead here. Rose is on the on lane 21 on your on your right. Drops seven with his first ball, leaving the head pin and the eight nine in the back. A little bit of wood, tough one there. Okay, he'll be open. Jamie Byrne of Weymouth on our left. Pokes out of the middle of his picking up two on his first ball. He's got a big out coming up. Harry's, Harry's going to get a nine in the sixth. And Paul and Jamie will sit with a seven after six. A little bit of dead wood out there for the clear. We'll recap. Harry Rose qualified uh, March 7th with a 391. He had a 102 average. Jamie Byrne qualified with a 398. Jamie, who does his, his bowling at South Shore Cl Country Club on Wednesday nights. And Harry uh, bowls nearby at, uh, at Doug Smith's uh, Tatooine Bowler Bowling Club. Above the Ace Hardware there in Situate Harbor. Seven pin drop on the first ball for Byrne. Looks like some friendly wood on that. He left left a little buck tooth leave. Oh. <laughs> he raised he raised his hand. Jamie thought he had that one over on lane 19. This one does go, however. The wood carries to the corner. Harry Rose. Now opens up. He has a 10 pin lead, but he has a bonus ball in his hand. Jamie getting seven, so let's call it a three-pin lead. That is enormous, even though he uh, he leaves the split. He got eight pins in the bonus. Harry, Harry Rose takes an 82 to 64 lead. Oh my goodness! He picked up, played played the wood. He picked up the seven. Trying to match him. Give it, and the wood taketh away on the way. You got you the double wood. Jamie did, and he'll sit with this fight with a 73. Meanwhile, here enormously here. With that six drop, goes to 98. He's got a 19 net lead with two to play. Tough break. Going for the horses. He takes up famine and death. Leaves. Leaves uh, disease and war. Little there. Nice ten. Harry is working on a one away nine. As Jamie. Burn leaves a seven. He's got 80 through nine. Jamie carries a 103 average. He started bowling when he was uh, two years old. 
Sorry, he has an 82 through nine. Started bowling at Lucky Strikes in Dorchester. He grew up in Dorchester bowling all, and uh, has since moved to uh, Weymouth. Tenth box here, Jamie's gonna need a double strike. And Harry just needs to play defense, which he does. Off head pin with his first two balls, but he's got seven. Jamie. That'll do it. Spring. 17 for Harry Rose will advance to the final against either John Nichols or Paul Badukowitz. And Jamie. Picks up a nice little 10 for 92. Good job. He'll He'll have $300 plus in prize winnings to take home with him today. As John Nichols steps in, he's got a 49 to 46 nominal lead. But remember, this is a handicap tournament. And Paul Bukowitz in the bonus drops seven. So Paul is getting seven pins, and that's another seven. He's up to 60. So it's, a base, it's an 11 pin lead through the first half as we close the books on the first half. Dukowitz can't convert the triangle. Nichols has a side saddle triangle that he uh, missed with his uh, spare shot, and that with the sleeper pin is eight. Dukowitz picks up two more. It's a 13 pin lead with four to play. Nichols moved to Taunton. He's 28 years old. I said he was our, these are two qualifiers during the, during the uh, bowl off that happened on Saturday mornings, uh, on March 14th, in two shifts. We had 93 bowlers, each contributed to the prize pool, and both of these men will be well remuner remunerated from that. Paul is a little unlucky with his second ball. He's got five still standing there. John posts a nine, picks up two of the pins. Paul, Paul Badukowitz battling Parkinson's and uh, just took up the sport on our left in lane 19. Never bowled anything quite like this. He's really enjoying it. Leaves the four horsemen as he starts the eighth. Nichols. Oh, he picks him up off, off the right wall. On the head pin with John, but he still leaves six. So, all Badukowitz adds another four. He's up to a 15. It's the bonus ball in his left hand right now. Nichols. He leaves a cocked hat leave with a it's possible. He really must make this. He's gonna enter double strike territory now. Purdue had four on his fill, putting up the eight four through eight. Nichols. He has 80 through 9. Padukowicz has 93. It's a 19 pin lead with final frame. So you means we basically need a double strike fill. Here it is. Oh, that was but he leaves the 5-9. Uh, and with that, Paul Badukowitz clinches his advance. No luck. No luck for, for He'll settle for 
the third place finish. He sets down. Radukowicz complete finishes with a 103. That's above, it's five above his average, and he takes that one by 20 pins total. We're gonna pause right now for a little break as, a, as our final bowl is set in. Uh, he'll, we'll start on the right, on lane 21, Paul Badukowicz. <laughs> it's been fixed, game is set. Harry is live, first ball, first. He's in the pocket again, leaves check mark. Nice job on the wing, can't get the six to carry for Paul. Paul, remember, he's getting nine pins. So with that 10 in the first box. Picks up another three there. So it's a 12, 12 pin difference head to head. Playing for $600 in prize money. Vanukowicz is right on the one three pocket again. My goodness, he's. He is hot. Harry just a little right, leaves the horseman. Vanukowicz taps it. He's got his first, first mark. In the final. Tries to play the outside. Carries the one, two, four, and seven remain for the third ball here. And that'll be an eight, 15. So the lead jumps, is now up to 14 plus the bonus ball in Paul Vadukovic's left hand. That's five, he leaves the Cleary. Early 19 pin lead, but Harry Rose of Situate has double wood in front of the of the 610. It's going. That's live. Yep. He's playing. Paul gets a six. He's off head pin on all three of those balls, so he's got a 31. through three, Harry's at 25, plus his bonus ball. Vadukowicz held on to that one for a second. He's got five pins down, six in the bonus for Rose, and he begins his fourth box. Second ball is through the three pin hole, through the two pin hole, sorry, and that is an eight for Badukowicz, 39 through four. And an eight for Harry on top of his 31, 39, 39 here. They're even gross, but remember it's a handicap tournament, 90% handicap of a 130 total. So Badukowicz is getting nine pins. That is the difference right now. Both bowlers with a spare early in the early going. They start the first ball, the fifth box. Thousand dollars in prize money on the line here. Third ball almost, almost carries. So Paul picks up another two. Swap. Stay on the same lane. Okay. Okay, that's a six. Six drop for uh, Paul. He's leaving the. Uh, it's the two seven eight, and on the right is the six. Another pocket shot for Ro for Harry. Paul catches his object, but that's all that falls. 
Barry going for the Sperry pull. Just pulled that one a little, a little bit. Good nine for Paul in that situation. Barry picks up the pin. Cuts, cuts the lead. To eight pins right now. It's the first ball of the seventh. That is the uh, quarter Worcester. Just the two pin, just the three pin, sorry, flipped, flipped there. Harry is hard in the pocket. Leaves the, leaves the five eight. Oh dear. Paul Badukowicz is being, getting a little snake bite there. A little chop, chop. Still got seven pins up there and he goes in and he picks up two more. That'll be a five. Barry Rose with his third ball here. It's a little, yeah, that wood was really far up in front of the, um, of the eight pin. That's a nine. He picks up four there. So it's uh, a six pin difference. 65 to 62 minus the nine pins. Six pin difference right now. Woods leads the one, two, ten. Budukowicz is through the split hole. Nope. Third ball here from Paul. It's good pinning for him with his six pin lead. Harry bites, bites off one more of those pins. He's got 74 gross. Badukowicz with 70 gross. That's a five pin difference. They have two to play. $1,000 on the line. Paul's in the, in the pocket, leaves the triangle. That's the two, four, five. Rose is off, head pin, leaves five. That's the one, two, five, eight, nine. Paul can't convert his spare. He's defending a five pin lead with two to play. Every pin, that's a big pin though. Both of those are huge pins for Paul. He's got, he's got 80 through nine. Those three were big, but he, it's now a six pin difference. Rose needs a mark for, as we start the 10th. Final frame of the final match. In 93 competitors started in, on March 7th. All down to this. Nice. It looked like a great ball. He leaves the triangle in one and one. He was in the, he was in the right pocket. And Harry, in a must mark situation, leaves the one seven a little bit of wood. Wood is adjacent to the head bin. Good chance that that seven will go. If he catches it, he does! That. Every pin is critical now for Bredukovic. He he's gets an 88. He's gonna sit down with 88. Harry's at 93, giving nine pins. So he needs a 102. Is it 93? Five, seven. That puts him at 100. He covers, he covers with that. It's a, it, 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 12. He covers, he covers. There's a nine pin, nine pin handicap. And he wins by three pins with that cover. You needed, you needed five or more and you got seven. <laughs> He needed a Mark Six for sure, and and and, uh, Harry, and Paul only got an eight in the in the ninth frame. That's what we're, what the difference was there. So thank you very much. Congratulations to Harry Rose of Situate. Congratulations to Paul Badukowitz, uh, battling battled well today. Um, that's it. Th and thanks to John and everybody. I think we'll just and that, that does it from uh, Timberland. Enjoyed the broadcast. Congratulations, Harry.